So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will discuss with you one scenario based Power BI interview question which was recently asked at Deloitte which is a big four firm you all know and this scenario was provided to me by one of my LinkedIn connections. So I thought of creating a video on this because it's an important question and it can be easily asked in your interviews too. Let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe the channel for more useful videos like this and also you can follow my Instagram page Learn with Gigs for regular job updates as well as data analytics related content. All right let's see the scenario let me take you to the excel file. So the interviewer provided two tables one of the table is this which you can see on the screen it has three columns country city transactions and you will find different countries along with different cities and with their respective transactions but you can see there are repetitive entries like uh, for example us new york us new york and you have germany berlin germany berlin but their transactions are different so we have a unique record over here similarly we have a sheet 2 which was the second table provided by the interviewer which is like this again three columns country city transactions you have us france Togo okay a new entry but again you see entries of France are thrice over here okay and we have unique entry of unis uh, US right and respective transactions are unique so that's why unique records are there now the ask of the interviewer was to create a new table in Power BI using DAX which should show the results like this which is sheet 3 where you should have unique entries of all the countries with their respective cities for example US Houston US Washington US New York Germany, Berlin, France, Leon, France, Paris and Togo Lom. Obviously, if you haven't seen something like this earlier at that particular point of time, you will fumble up. You will take more time to think how to do this. But if you have already watched this video, you will be able to think fast and act fast. So now let's see how we can do this using DAX in Power BI desktop. So I will go to the data table view. I have already loaded those two sheets, sheet one and sheet two, as you can see both the uh, tables have exactly the same data that we have in that excel file now since we have to create a new table so what we will click first of all we will choose new table from here let me name this as result table so how to approach this particular question so if you have seen the data present in the excel file basically something is related to grouping right and whenever we have to think about grouping the first function that should come into your mind is summarize function okay so i will start with summarize function i will be first summarizing my country column along with city column from sheet one table right because that is the first thing that we have to do so let's start that so for that the first argument will be uh, sheet one which is the table name then the second argument will be group by column name that will be my country column first from sheet one then it should be city column again from sheet uh, one only because we have to group country along with city and then I will not use any other arguments over here which is name and expression because we don't require over here anything else apart from these country and city column in the resultant table right so let's leave it till here and close the bracket from here let me also put this under variable something like underscore data underscore one equal to now the next line again I will make use of again a variable and I will give the name as sheet underscore data underscore two okay equal to again i will make use of summarize function because i need to summarize the table to content also with the country and city column and then we could see what else we can do from there on so again i will make use of sheet 2 from here right then i will group by country column first then i will group by city column second close the bracket now the third variable will be i need the append right i will i want to append the data coming from sheet one data one with sheet data two right so i will make use of here for uh, i will name it as all uh, rows then i will make use of here union dax function okay union function will help over here because we have to union we have to append the data so the first will be sheet data one then the second will be sheet data two okay so i have now union the data coming from the above two variables now i have to return the result so what i have to return now i will not do any kind of further summarization because i hope whatever we have grouped on the top we should see now the right result now let's return all rows from here and let's see if we get the right result or not so this is the final result you have three entries of us two entries of france one entry of germany and one entry of togo with their unique city name so that was the actual requirement 
which i showed you in the starting which was sheet number 3 so i hope you understood the solution please do hit the like button of this video as it will help you to increase its reach and drop a comment if you found it useful and also i will share the link to download this data set which i have used in this scenario and so you can practice